Hello friends, this is an exclusive interview with an exclusive person. Right now I am sitting with Shri B. K. Mishra, he is the Chairman and Managing Director of the Cotton Corporation of India, the CCI. In the year 2014-15 season has been a very eventful year for the CCI, Mishra ji. You are very nearly close to the record crop that you have ever procured. Yes, near to. Because uh, in 2008-09, we procured 89 lakh bales. And this year, it was uh, 2 lakh bales less. I will say it is fortunate because it is an MSP operation which we don't want to conduct every year because I, uh, market must be above than the MSP as per uh, ideally whatever CCI I think and whatever the benefit for the trade. Mission, what is the current uh, procurement and sales figure of the CCI? In this year we procured 86.9 lakh bales and by now we have uh, sold out 38 lakh bales. So the present stock with us are 48 odd lakh bales. What will be the uh, unsold stock by the end of the Indian season? We expect that uh, the figure should be anywhere between 15 to 20 lakh bales by the end of season. Okay. And the unsold stock in India? India, it all depends on the financial strength of the spinning mills and the stocks with the trade. Mm -hmm. But uh, considering about uh, 10 lakh bales with the trade, equally number of bales with the multinationals and uh, 15 to 20 days stocks with the mills because at the year end when new crop is likely to come we don't expect that mills may be having more than one month stock mm -hmm. so with this i think the total figure of stock may be anywhere between 50 to 60 lakh bales as per my purchase with exports as an eight year low and uh, not uh, very good uh, visible prospects so what are your plans for exports because you are the stockholder in india right now CCI this year have started looking at other countries also for exports because in past our export has maximum more than 60, uh, 50,000, about 50,000 whereas uh, this year we have crossed 50,000 bales by now. Okay. We expect that it will be a record figure during the last 15 years with CCI. Mr. Ajib, what is your estimate about the final Indian crop for this year? Though initially it was uh, estimated this uh, 39 million base by the CAB, but we presume that with the all odds and uh, erratic uh, seasonal things, we expect that it will be anywhere around, around 37.5 or 375 lakh bales. Do you foresee any change in the Chinese uh, policy for cotton and yarn? It must because China the country is sitting on more than 10 million bales is still right. uh, 10 million tons I think uh, is mm -hmm. still uh, on their um, kitty as an inventory I think uh, they should have no option but to liquidate it in a period they presume consider fit and uh, they cannot survive with the same policy of buying cotton from rest of the world in the same volume whatever they have done in past right so they have to they cannot afford it in my opinion they have to lower down their uh, procurement of cotton from the rest of the world mm -hmm. and uh, because uh, they have al uh, also started uh, reducing their exposure in terms of uh, cotton uh, production as well as consumption too. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that they will continue with the same policy of buying cotton much and they have to reduce it as they have done last year also, this right. year, 14, 15 season also. CC have been directly associated with cotton farmers because of their uh, uh, purchase policy. So, what do you think the palmer, farmers must do? Either they should sow less cotton or what is the way out of the situation? What uh, we have been uh, getting a feedback time to time that current MSP even is not able to fetch them the cost they have been incurring. Right. So, in my opinion, they, sh they should have to see for any other alternate crop which can fetch them better margins, better profits yeah. and uh, which is beneficial also for them because the uh, intervention of government uh, is should not be needed all the times. Now, textile industry is a capital intensive industry. You need a lot of money to start a textile industry. It is currently facing critical problems of bad debts and defaults. So what measures 
must be taken or what policy can be framed to enforce law and order in the textile industry? Efforts have been made by Government of India time to time hmm. to regulate the trade right. by introduction of a bill with cotton trade statistics bills and other things. But because of the poor state of economy in cotton trade, chilling and pressing factory, in spinning, I think it is not happening. What message would you give, Beshiraji, would you like to spread to the medium of Cotton Guru uh, media and fortnightly newsletter to the thousands of uh, companies and uh, professionals who I think it. you are doing a very legitimate and uh, uh, holistic job for the cotton trade because as you are also know that cotton trade is full with the rumors. Right. So in that scenario, any agency which is involved in getting feedback and uh, publishing all these circulars is a uh, little more authentic and uh, purposeful also. In my opinion, uh, this uh, give a good uh, contribution to the trade. Right, and, uh, I had some I efforts. Thank, Thank you very much for being our guest and your valued views are most important to Thank all you. of Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. you.